Assalamualaikum and hi Welcome to my YouTube channel First of all, I want to thank you for watching this video And please hit the subscribe button And don't forget to like, comment and share I will uh, introduce myself first My name is Roma Ismail and Jimmy Benjli My metric number is AP200064 I am a second year student, Bachelor degree of Technology Management, Furniture Design and Manufacturing Okay, for today's uh, vlog, I want to talk about experience completing my group project for English and Development subject The group project I have received is titled To Research, research the Awareness of the University to Student at University Turn on Malaysia regarding health I will tell you a little bit about health before I move on to the next section. Health, according to the World Health Organization, or also known as WHO, is a state of physical, mental, and social well-being, and not merely the absence of disease and infirmity. A variety of Definitions have been used for different purposes over time. Health can be promoted by encouraging helpful activities such as uh, regular physical exercise and adequate sleep, and by re reducing or avoiding unhelpful activities or situations such as smoking or excessive stress. Some factors affecting health due to such a cost such as uh, whether the society is arranged in a way that makes it easier or harder for people to get necessary health care service. Still, other factors are beyond both individual and group choice such as genetic disorder. According to the study, uh, the majority of deaths covered in Malaysia are mostly caused by disease. Common and known diseases such as heart disease, lung disease, HIV or AIDS, stroke and diabetes are most likely to cause imbalance within human body and will hospitalize human if the situation is, this situation is serious. There are factors that cause the common of disease in Malaysia and consequences are really vis visible and obvious. There are several ways to prevent the disease from destroying our body and cure it accordingly. Our group leader has divided each other member with one disease for them to study how the disease occur and ways to treat the disease from becoming more serious. There are some things that I have learned from this group project. First of all, I was able to improve my grammar better with the help of the lecturers as well as my teammates. Before this, my grammar was a bit weak when speaking openly, and I was always worried every word that I uttered was right or wrong. Now, I can speak comfortably without worrying about grammatical errors when speaking. I also gained knowledge on how to construct sentences in an orderly manner and explain the content in more details. I would like to thank those who helped me in a lot uh, in preparing this project. I am, I am able to speak calmly and clearly when I do the end of my presentation. For the second one is communication. I can improve my communication with other group members while doing this project. We will always communicate face-to-face uh, -face or through group WhatsApp. From there, we can give each other opinion in completing this task properly. This is because every key to success in a group project is communication. Without communication from each member, the, this task will be slow to complete and unwanted problems will arise. I do talk less to other people, but with this group project, it can help me to communicate more in completing my part more quickly and help other members with their part. We all can also remind any group member who are not working or too lazy to do their parts as soon as possible in order to facilitate 
the affair of the member who have to combine all the points from all group member into one file. For the third one is teamwork. The significance of teamwork cannot be undermined. The importance of teamwork for students can be felt in every phase of life. It can be at school, college, or in any organization. Because alone, little can be achieved, but together, much can be achieved. In a team, listening to your members becomes uh, in inevitable. Without hearing or listening to others in the team, the whole process of partnership or teamwork breaks down and the team fails. The idea behind working a team is to improve communication skills. Listening is a core part of communication. Teamwork helps in conflict resolutions. When two or more members in the team have a conflict of interest, the other members can play a vital role in arriving at a solution or cooling the heat of the conflict. A team is a group of people that come together to achieve a certain goal. In case of a college project, a group of students work together to complete a particular assignment. Here, students can showcase what they are good at and contribute their skills or talent to the project. When great tennis come together, the project is a sure success. The importance of teamwork for students lies in the fact that it acts a check on procrastination. In a team, students have to work at the pace maintained by the entire team. It gave no room for individual procrastination or laziness. Therefore, teamwork directly improves time management skills. Okay, for this session, what personal development that I have experienced? For that, personal development is the process of self-improvement which focuses on build-up on your own awareness, knowledge and skills as well as an overall sense of identity. By carrying out on going personal development, I can learn more about my and aspirations. I will figure out where my value, belief, and values lie, not to mention uncover a clearer purpose for what I'm doing, both on a personal or professional level. With clear and achievable targets, I will be more motivated to actually fulfill them, especially if I have a personal development plan to track my progress. This means I will be more productive in carrying out the tasks I set myself whether it is at study or at home. And I will be more likely to compete them to a high standard. After all, it is the only way that I will achieve my goals. The personal development that I experienced in this group project is my confidence. Uh, confidence helps me feel ready for life experience. When we are confident, we are more likely to move forward with people and opportunities, not back away from them. And if, if things doesn't work at the first time, confidence helps us to try again. It is opposite when the confidence is low. People who are low on confidence may be less likely to try new things or reach out to new people. If they fail at something uh, for the first time, they might be less likely to try again. A lack of confidence can put people back from reaching their full potential. Let me, uh, I can build a confidence mindset whenever I do this project. When my inner voice says I can, return it to say I can, or you could say I know I can learn or do this. Uh, this is I put my mind to it. Okay. Next, I compare myself and uh, 
uh, it's natural to compare ourselves with other people's. It's a way to understand ourselves and develop the qualities we demand or we admire. But if comparison often leave you feeling bad about yourself, uh, it, is, it is a sign to work on uh, your confidence and your self-esteem. The third is shape of self-doubt. Uh, when we doubt our abilities, we feel inferior, unworthy, and unprepared. It, that can make us avoid people and situations uh, we might enjoy and grow from. And for the last one, is take a safe piece. Sign up for a college community or volunteer to help with a project or you can try uh, for a tryout or for a team or a talent show and always raise your hand in the class more often this is because this can help you be more confident when you're in the class and when the lecture, lecturer uh, asks any question you can Volunteer yourself to answer the question more confidently. For the one challenge that I experienced from this group project is the time management problem. The time management problem are the challenges individual encounter when trying to, to maximize their effectiveness in their personal life. Many people commonly feel as if the time available for certain personal and professional tasks is somewhat limited or that the demand on the time exceed what is available. Myself also experienced a wide array of perceived obstacles to effective use of that limited time. Fortunately, it is possible to identify and address time management challenges to help optimize our careers and experience. Procrastination is one of the examples for the time management problems. Procrastination is the common experience of putting the task off until there is a little time remaining before a deadline. People may procrastinate for a variety of reasons including habit, perfectionism, and clear goals and distraction such as too much socialization, electronic device and less important tasks can sometimes be in the way of strong time management in our study time. Many of these kind of decisions are common enough that they are easily overlooked and it's possible to not even notice that they are dissecting from our productivity. The good news is it is possible to conquer procrastination and accomplish our goals effectively. One way to address procrastination is to set a timer for a short period of time and lock the phone uh, and all apps from opening during the period. Using the lock apps, then we can begin working or studying for our exact examination or doing our assignments. Telling yourself that you can stop at the end of that time if you are no longer feel like working or studying. Many people find that their momentum continues long after that initial work period then and that they typically do not wish to procrastinate that task further. Breaking our objective down into a detailed schedule can help as well by providing intermediate deadlines before the final one. Consider placing your phone or other electronics across the room, silencing it or turning it off completely if you have another way to receive essential information. Try to build the construct bricks for this activity in our case. So, how do you feel about the vlog just now? I hope you enjoyed the vlog and I would, to, I would like to apologize if there is any short 
comments in the vlog or any vocabulary errors during the vlog display. That's the end of our vlog and for this time and that's all for me. Till we meet again. Bye.